All right. Morning, October 11th, 2024. Today is Friday. I'm just going to do a real small video on cleaning up slip rings on any type of generator, folks. Uh, there's some of the newer ones are out there are brushless. You've heard of brushless motors and all, so it's coming. But this is an older one. I'm going to look in there with you. Here you go. Yeah, the camera's going to tilt a little bit. Sorry about that. You can see how, like, corroded they are. All right, and I just started cleaning them up. So, remember I did one that had a, I think it was a code 32, right? No RPM. Well, let's see if I can bump this one around for you. Watch, well, it's going to get a little noisy. <laughs> That dust and stuff coming out of there. There you go. Well, there's one spot. There. I cleaned up a little bit. You can see it better. Okay. Hard to see. See, there's the slip ring. It's got a rust edge on it on the left. Let's see if I can do it this way. A little bit better, huh? There you go. The one on the left. It's got a real good rust edge. That copper one is where I was cleaning it up. So it's going to take a while. And make a thing called a, a slip stick by a flight system. It ain't bad, but basically you just take some 2,000 grit sandpaper, emery cloth, real light, crank it over, and, and clean them up, all right? So that, that thing really had an edge on it. We've got to get that off of there. And I'll show you the brush. It ain't that bad. We'll check it for tension. It's got a couple little lands in it, if you see it. But they ain't bad. We'll smooth them out. Got great tension. Great height on the brushes. All right. All right. That's my dog. I'll put you on hold. Hold on. All right. So we're going to make our own cleaning stick here. I'm going to turn it around. Basically, the board is a little bit under a half inch wide. I use 3-8 plywood. I use a plywood, all right, a little bit stronger. And then I just take good old emery cloth, all right? Wet cloth, emery cloth, 2,000 grit sandpaper. I staple it on this end, and then I just stick it down in that hole, which I've been doing, I'll show you here. Notice how clean. I'm going to turn the camera again for some of those that get upset. See how that one on the right's nice and clean, shiny. So now i got to do the one on the left. And basically, all you do, the reason why I don't staple both sides is because then I can do this, which I've already done. I can flip this over, right, like that. And then staple it again. I have another cleaning surface. So well, I just let the thing hang over this way. I hold it a little bit with my finger. I stick it down in there on the piece where the brushes go. Here, let me see if I can get it. I'm getting better at just holding it with one hand. Nah, not good, huh? You can see where the brush screw is on. Right there, little aluminum piece. All right, I'll take this out, I'll show you. See the holes? The thread holes. There's one on the bottom right, top left. That's where the brush holder. See the same holes there. All right, so I'm just leaning it up against that. And believe it or not, this is one of them that run without seeing 120 volt being produced so it doesn't have the proper it's old this is i think a 1996 or something i'm working on so i'm gonna clean that other one up kind of hard for me to do it while it's running and camera and all that because of one man show but i'm gonna put you on pause and you just stick it in there gently you ain't gotta cram it or nothing you can make your own cleaning stick folks some of the other ones are 35 55 dollars save the money Hear it running? Watch that even in. There's the uh, so the older ones didn't have a 120 volt cut off or producing no AC bolt. Which don't pause. 
<coughs> excuse me. So here we go. We'll turn the camera around again. You see how nice and shiny they are. There's <coughs> the one on the left has a little bit of scratches in. I think some dirt got up in there. Oh, look at that. That's really look. You can even see it glowing. Right, I'm gonna do that one on the left a little bit more. But basically, folks, this is in Marquee 7000, right? There's your model number and serial number. It is a spec H because the last digit in the model number, this is a 7 and H and H series, spec H. Sometimes it says it on the sticker of the placard. And does anybody see it? Nope. So there it is again, the same model number, H. And that's a serial number, All right? 12 volt, how many amps? 56. All right, so basically that was just to show you how to make that tool to clean all kind of slip rings with. Uh, that's it, that's what this video was really about. But anyway, thank you very much, Jeff from RV Donos. Hope you, hopefully that helped you save some money.